I'm from Tokyo Polytechnic University in Japan. I'm moderate moderator of today. Today's presentation is by Professor Tsukasa Hiroshima, and the title of his presentation is Learning by Recomposition for Shared Understanding between Peers and, be, and Between Peers and Teacher. First of all, let me introduce this webinar. The webinar series is part of Asia Pacific Society for Computers in Education. This presentation is organized by special interest group SIG, educational use of problems, questions in technology. Okay, let me introduce Professor Tsukasa Hiroshima. Tsukasa Hiroshima is a professor of learning engineer, engineering laboratory in the Department of Information Engineering at Hiroshima University in Japan. His research interests include several subfields of educational information technologies, in particular, in the area of intelligent adaptive systems to support learning. Within the field, error visualization and simulation, learning by problem posing, metadata of exercise programs, context sensitive filtering, and kit build concept map are his original new lines of research. The results of his various research have been continuously reported at various international conferences, including ICCE, AIED, ITS. Professor Tsukasa Hiroshima has served as a chair, an edit editor, a program committee member, or a reviewer of several international journals or conferences. He received a APSCA Distinguished Research Award honorable mention for best paper at AIED. He was the conference chair of ICC 2013. The Kitabit concept map is one of his original new lines of research. This research have been used practically in many schools. This research also won the Minister of Education, Culture, Sports Science and Technology Award at the Japan e-learning award. Today, Professor Tsukasa Hiroshima talks about this research kit build concept map. I introduce again the title of his presentation. The title of his presentation is Learning by Recomposition for Shared Understanding Between Peers and Between Peers and Teacher. And Dr. Ryo will assist with, uh, with today's presentation, especially with demonstration. Okay. Professor Tsukasa Hiroshima, go ahead, please. Okay, <clears throat> thank you for our uh, introduction or my introduction so Takahito. So today I like to present uh, my research uh, introduced by Takahito. So I will share the screen. Okay. Yeah, so yes, so let me, as introduced, uh, so that today's title is Learning by Recomposition for Shared Understanding Between Peers and Between Peers and Teachers. Okay, so firstly, I explain that the topic of today first. Okay, so that mean, so now I try to explain that learning by recomposition. So that's that not so special uh, style of learning. So that mean, if the learner, learning content target of the learning has a structure, in that case, and then uh, understanding the structure itself is important for learning. In such case, uh, how to run that the structure? So in that case, decompose a structure into component by teacher or system designer, and then decomposition the structure with the components by learner. So that, that is a promising design for learning. So I mean, to understand, to learn about the, to focus on the structure. In that case, decompose the structure and, uh, and then decompose the structure and recompose that is a good learning, uh, promising learning method or design. So only that. So that is my meaning of learning by decomposition. And then so the, now today, I focus on the concept map for the uh, learning content. So I mean, there are several types of learning contents. And then we, I also in my research, also a several type of one, but uh, now it's focused on concept. And then as you know, 
concept map is uh, well known as a graphical and then structural representation of domain knowledge and understanding. So the concept map is a, a representation of structural representation of understanding about the domain. So that means uh, learning by recomposition of concept map is for understand, and the part, part is that to understand, I mean, mainly map builders understanding. So that means concept map is represented about the about understanding of others. And then to recompose that is a good method to understand that, understand the map builder's understanding. So in case, basically that uh, in case, so in learning or teaching, or sometimes in the collaboration with peers, in that case, map builder is teacher or domain expert or peers. So. I mean, this learning by decomposition of concept map is uh, try to understand the teacher or expert or peers how understand about the target. Well, that is a basic uh, background of meaning of learning by decomposition of concept map. And then to understand others, in that case, uh, it's necessary to use a learner have to their understanding. So, uh, Usually, so concept map is useful to represent the understanding. So that is the main point. But uh, so to use for others concept map, to understand that other concept map is also very important for confirm or, or uh, co reflect the understanding. So that, that's uh, our meaning of learning by the composition concept map is try to understand others understand through the decomposition concept map. Okay, so today I will introduce, explain that uh, firstly, kit build concept map as a framework for learning by decomposition first. And then second is uh, have a demonstration of KB map. So uh, now currently, so uh, the online system can be used for um, any participants. So I will uh, have a time, an opportunity to use, you can use the system. And then, so I also introduce several research achievements about KB following that, that today's content. And then finally, so uh, now, so the new version of KB system is introduced by uh, Ario Minanto, Minandito. So he is a main developer and the main researcher of this Kickbuild concept map. Now is he is working at the uh, Uruguay Uru Uru University. So uh, he graduated uh, my research group uh, uh, from, as a PhD candidate, P get a PhD. So I will take time so the new version and version of the KB map. So I introduced KB, so current state, but uh, uh, K I think that the uh, uh, Kitville concept map, KB map, it has a very big potential. And then Ario, Ario is uh, collaboratively researching now. So I, can, I will introduce the new version of that. Okay, so firstly, I, we, we should confirm the concept map. This is a, uh, maybe that is a famous concept map. So about the concept map. So, so and then uh, a concept map is a graphical representation. Fair nodes represent concept and link represents the relationship between concept. And then so the a proposition consists of two nodes and a link. So that means that this is a node and this is node, and then what link is connected that. So this is one proposition. Concept map represent organized knowledge. So, so that means concept map is uh, the, a series of proposition, connected proposition. And then one proposition is composed of uh, two nodes and one link. So that is a, a structure concept map. And then concept map is accepted as a very useful tool to represent the knowledge or understanding. And then, but uh, in teaching or learning, so the main use of in learning is to build. So that means teachers sometimes request students to build a concept map. And then sometimes building that is itself is useful for organizing the understanding or sophisticate or something. So, but uh, uh, semantics in the is in builder's mind. So, of course, this is uh, it, it, so it, it's possible to interpret. But the uh, uh, real meaning or how to understand that is not so uh, defined 
outside of the map. So I mean, basically, so semantics of concept map is in builder's mind. So basically, so I mean, teacher build it concept map following the context where the classes and the learners are also built it following what they understand. So that, that is the reason so concept map can easily to use in education or learning. So teacher can easily to make that. So depending on the, their context or learners can also make that. So they are uh, based on their understanding. So, but uh, in knowledge engineering, so for example, knowledge graph. So the, I, my background also knowledge engineering. So semantics, how to define the semantics very important. And then usually knowledge graph define the semantics on ontology. So maybe knowledge graph should be described based on the ontology. So that means someone who can like to the knowledge graph, in that case, it's necessary to learn the ontology, know the ontology and then following the ontology have to represent. So that is not easy to make that. But the concept map is basically semantics is in builder's mind. So easy to make. So that is a uh, reason that the, concept map use in class, so practically use. So, but uh, my, view, my research question is, but uh, for example, this is a good or very famous uh, concept map, uh, representation of concept map. And then, so if this is good, and then this is very useful, in that case, to share that is very important. Or if the learner know well about this, in that case, very useful to learn additionally so concept map. So how to share the concept map? So basically semantics in the build of the mind. And then so to build itself is a main learning or teaching uh, way. But uh, it's common maker that, and it's just a map is good. In that case, that's sure is uh, how to share that is a point of research. And so that I mean, uh, if a learner, a teacher make a good map, good concept map. So it should be worth to share. So, and then so then this here is sharing. It means that uh, learners are able to use the words and relation. That means nodes and links in the same way we teach. So uh, teachers say something, but uh, so in the, if the students also use the same way that teachers words or Relation. In that case, that's a very good learning or teaching, but uh, sometimes that's very difficult. So that is same one. So I mean, if the course teacher make a concept map and then uh, learner can use that the words and relations in the same way with teachers. In that case, that the teaching or learning is very good progress we believe. But that's, that sometimes that's very difficult. So uh, that means to share the map, concept map, is very uh, useful to include their learning. So, and then not only the student teacher, peer, but the peer to peer case also same thing. So I also explained that in this presentation. And then, so next, how to share it. So, and then, so the very simple way or direct way, read and understand the map. So for example, I mean, there's right, so the teacher make a map and then request student to understand, read and understand. So, but uh, to request them, so read and understand is easy, but uh, to complete that or to uh, measure that is very, very difficult. And then, so because that is near, the no goal and no feedback. So that, that means in general, so request student to understand is unclear task. So I think that is a very bad task. So, uh, so, so that means that reading, uh, uh, read and, read and then understand is not so good. So my idea, so this research idea is concept map is, has a good structure, node and links. And then the composition and the composition is very good way, well, but a very general, not a special approach, but a, even in the concept map case or in general, more generally in the knowledge, knowledge representative case is very useful, I think. So. Uh, so decompose a concept map, we can get the nodes and a set of nodes and links, and then that is provided to runners. And then, so runner have to recognize the nodes and links. Of course, I mean, there is already a component and then, but as runners who decompose a concept map should 
and just recognize what is the meaning of the nodes and what is the meaning of rings. And then after that, we compose them. So that is not so easy task. So later, I will ask you to uh, have a trial to that, but uh, not, basically not easy. So it causes a lot of re components. And then so the goal is, so here is a, this about this. So goal is the composition, it's made clear. So can do that or how to do that is it make clear. And then feedback also we can uh, give the students. So that mean difference between the original one and then the composed one. So that mean because of the uh, component is same. So we can prepare the way to detect the difference by overlapping. So I mean, that is a difference is a feedback. So that's a, so by, by, so I mean, the task to understand the concept map is change to recompose. And then in, the, in such case, we can give a feedback that the difference between the original one, the composed one. So that is a idea of learning by decomposition by using concept map. So I would say that is a key to the concept map. So I will, uh, explain that the framework was key to the concept map for firstly, teacher have to make a concept map about their teaching. Of course, this is, should be dependent, uh, should be following that he's teaching. So uh, maybe, uh, so, and then teacher should assume, has some, have some image that uh, his teaching, result of his teaching, uh, he can give uh, like, that, like this kind of understanding or uh, he hope to students understand like this. And then if student understand like this is, so I mean, teacher use that term, uh, use word and relation for the next teaching. So, or uh, reflection of the, the current uh, lesson. So in that case, teacher hope to like to understand like this. So that, so that in the uh, understanding of teacher means understanding that teacher hope to hope students. So and they make a map. And then so they make, if students make a concept map, it's decomposed that. So that mean Northern links, and they make a set of component. We say that here. And the kit is generated the composition of the concept map. And then uh, learners provide it. And Rana provided a set of components and then Rana requested to decompose that. So based on Rana's understanding, he, you understand, uh, you're understanding uh, decompose that. So I mean, uh, teacher explained, uh, you received that teaching, so they received that. And then uh, you have to, uh, you, <laughs> you, you, so decompose that. So based on that, uh, uh, you understand it. So that's the third step. And then next step, so that he, she, uh, Rana decomposed the concept map in that case by comparing this. So easily to find the lacking link and then additional not necessary link. And then so that means, so it's a, by detecting the difference, so that it's become a feedback. So I mean, so try to, re, this is recompose, that is a clear goal. And then difference can be detected easily too, and then can show that. Of course, how to, show the difference, how to give a student difference is also uh, some uh, various way. But uh, uh, in this framework, Lana has a clear goal to understand and then feedback for their understanding. So as a difference of the teacher's map and then the decomposed map. So that this is a framework of uh, it will concept map. And then, so that mean, uh, that I omit that, that so, so how to diagnose. So maybe that because of that is make a matrix of the dog map, uh, original map, and then the combo map, easily to find the difference. Okay, and then, so one more important uh, advantage of KTV concept map, we can make a group map by overlapping, or student make a several recomposed map. In that case, uh, we can ask by overlapping them. So we easy to make a group map. So that is a group also spares three students. They make a different map and then overlapping. So that mean like this map. So in that case, this case, these links is all of them is uh, connected. So that means maybe they understand that. But, but there is a, some students make a wrong way. So wrong connected 
So that is a weak point of this them or some mistake or teaching. So by overlapping map, so teacher can observe the students or groups understanding. So that is a one important type. And then now, so we have mainly we use that the discipline concern for university or higher education, or now today, we, I will request you to use that concept map. But uh, this Kitabula concept map can be used for the uh, elementary school. So I, I, I show you the video to how they use that. もう一遍そのボタンを押すだけ。よろしいですかね。じゃあ皆さんまずは座って、え、自分のマップを作ってみてください。どうぞ。また<笑><笑> なんか、顔、そう、色が変わった状態じゃないと、こうすると、ほら、色変わったでしょ。この状態だと、こう、少し引っくり目に持ってあげれば必ずついてくる。そうじゃないかったら、なかなかついてこない時期がある。I mean, uh, as you see this, so elementary students can also use that, and then uh, it's possible to collaborate. So this, this time on-site collaboration, but uh, now you, the system you can use today is online collaboration you can use. OK, so I mean, uh, I hope you to use this uh, key to your consumer. So, I, so that I believe that is to use that, to, so I, you can use how, that, how useful is that. And then, so, okay, so I send, okay, wait a minute. So I send you ch as a chat. So maybe, I don't know you. I send you the chat. So URL of the system. Okay, so maybe you can uh, use the system uh, following by click, uh, maybe I ask you to uh, click the system. Okay, so I mean, uh, please, uh, uh, so, okay, maybe you can find the uh, URL on chat and then please click the, click one, click the uh, URL. And then, so that means you can see this. Uh, maybe I, you can see something. Uh, I'll ask you to English version. <laughs> Please call it English version. And then, uh, so it's necessary to uh, give uh, uh, your username. But uh, in that case, uh, I hope you to. Uh, so that means the name is used for the analysis. So later I will show you. So please give that is uh, not a uh no problem name <laughs> so my case it's kasaki okay. in that case i mean uh, firstly so you find uh, some uh kit but uh, not, please ign ignore it and then so uh so next step and then please click open kit so this uh 
fun. So then it's slide it, yes. And then you, you select or click open kit, you can find the several topics. So then we please select this webinar, webinar this one. And then by clicking the, you know, several, several kits, you can see this. And then today, so depend on the time limitation, I will ask for the first one, demo kit of, of sugar, please click this. And then you can open it. So I mean, you can see like this. I hope you to share. Well, of course, I will demonstrate how to use that. But uh, if you can, so please uh, use this in the same way with me. OK, so I mean, this, uh, OK, maybe you come here <laughs> like this situation. And then so I mean, uh, these, uh, these one is node, and then these are links. And then so I mean, uh, so sugar is that is a, a same uh, map I show you uh, as examples, and then so sugar, and then so this is node, and then this is ring, and then by clicking ring we can find the circles. So circle is connected to the node. Uh, not so difficult. Please uh, set this. And then, uh, for example, maybe that the uh, correct one, maybe correct, correct one is, what is correct is very a little difficult, but at least in the lecture, so to make this map say, use like these terms. So in his lecture, this is correct. And then, so maybe this is a uh, correct one. And then if the all correct is not so, uh, Interesting. So I make one point with this. So okay, like this. Uh, for example, make a map, recompose a map. So in the in his lecture, uh, in the lecture, so teacher let's say like this. So I decompose that. So that is a uh, activity of students. And then upload. So okay, slide this next. Uh, so here is upload. So I then give upload. So let me send that the server to this map for the. Uh, server. And then so here is uh, it's possible to uh, detect the difference between the uh, go, uh, teacher's map and then the composed map. Okay, so for example, the matching. So matching means the same link. So this link is the same with the teachers. And then access link is that so there is not in teacher's map, but the uh, in uh, learner's map is here. And then uh, X, the missing link is, there is a teacher map, but there is not, not in the learner map, it's fine. A living is not used, and so we can find this. I mean, of course, that is a feedback. <laughs> so so that at least the system can detect like this difference. And then to give this difference directly students or not, learner or not, is it, should be designed based on the design of the uh, activity. So sometimes basically use in the uh, university, don't use this uh, feedback directly for students. And then if the, uh, so if you like to change that, uh, okay, this is a difference and then, okay, fine difference. And then uh, modify map, here is a modify map, so that means by based on that feedback, I like to change this. Okay, make this and then uh, upload and then maybe it's a no difference. Okay, that, that is a, a, a basic use of this. Uh, okay, so and then so uh, I confirmed that. So if you, some of you to uh, use a uh, uh, this map, so, okay. Okay, so. Okay, so that means uh, we can uh, analyze that uh, map. So learners make this map. And this static analysis, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
maybe some of them, <laughs> not so much, but some of them make this. And then, so I should try to confirm that uh, uh, group. Okay, so that means we can, uh, this is overlap map. So that means correct one is, so that means that gather several one. So to make that, that we can find that the correct one is right here. And then, so that how, how uh, so missing it, uh, so uh, missing is a bit easy to understand. Missing like this. So that means three, three one is missing this ring. Okay, so that means who is missing or about this, who is missing also can find. So that means uh, teacher can confirm how they make in the map. So that is a, a analysis of the student make decomposition. Okay, so, that, that is a demonstration. I hope you to use that. Uh, uh, please use this. <laughs> so this this time I ask you to use that. Uh, okay. 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 So let me open. So now uh, I hope you to already to use this map. So firstly, I hope you to the open kit. Log in and open kit, and then select webinar. And then, uh, so this webinar's topic. And then, so this is a kit for five islands and capital cities. So I ask you to select this. And then, so let me, uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, so, okay. Uh, so this time I already use this. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, so I already. Okay. So let me oh, oh, open it and then okay, other case. Okay, so you can so that mean uh you can find like this uh, kit proposed. So by using that select and the kit for five iron. And then here is, uh, if full decomposition is sometimes it's very difficult, we know that. So we provide a partially decomposed. So that means that's more easier. And then one research confirmed that is partially decomposition is better than the full decomposition sometimes. So that is, a, you, I ask you to use that this uh, partial decomposition case. And then this is a uh, Japanese uh, geographic information. So uh, sometimes you feel a little difficult. In that case, this you can find the text about this expansion, this read. So, I mean, uh, by checking this, uh, by reading this, so I mean, this map is based on that uh, information, this, uh, this one. And then I ask you, please, be confirm, be con, be compose this map. So based on the based on this sent uh, text. So I will take five minutes <laughs> so to that. So uh, maybe you if you can do that, so you can understand that. Okay. And so maybe if you click this uh, node, so this uh, like this node. Okay, you can find a circle and then try to connect. And then you you can try to connect. Okay, so please. At the five minutes, please make uh, that uh, uh, decompose the uh, map. Then after five minutes, I will uh, please upload, even that are not completed case, so please upload and then confirm that, uh, discuss that the result. Can I understand? So if you have a trouble to use this, please give a question at the chat.
Okay, so、uh, cause of time limitation. So please、uh, upload that. So that means that some, some of them to、uh, give this. So that, that's a, I can explain that. So, result. So this is a result of you,、uh, you have uploaded. So now I can check that. So that this is the number of the,、uh, you recompose that. And then it's the same with the pre previously prepared. And then so 22 is now is a number of the recomposed one. So currently, now only receive that. So that,、uh, here is, a, for example, five islands here is almost the same it can do. So I mean, 20, more than 20 is maybe no problem. But,、uh, Less than 20 is,、uh, we try to check. <laughs> okay. For example, I mean,、uh, so Tokyo is a Honshu. Maybe,、uh, maybe many, some, some of the, many of the participants is、uh, Japanese, Japanese from Japan. So in that case, many will know, but it's more less than the other. So maybe this is not written in text. So these are written text, but、uh, this is not written text. So that, in that case, We can find that even in the simple case, if it's a simple case, we can find that not written in the、uh, text, so low correct rate. And one more thing, most attractive city for me. So, in the, I write that. So, I don't know,、uh, memory that、uh, so this is written in the text or not, but、uh, this is d e p e n d on the person. So, in that case, of course, that I, I, Connect this, but as others connect other one. So, in that case,、uh, that is very clear that is、uh, not written, not teaching that. So, for example, in the not teaching case, is low rate, or that is depend on the individual's understanding, is also low rate. We can find that. So, these are many also they understand, but that, this is not so. some Agreement so that we can find easily for the group of this, and then we can analyze that why that is not related to the meaning of the context. Okay, so that, that's the reason. So,、uh, that is a way to use this system, and then okay, well, one more thing. I mean,、uh, now, uh, so this is the system. And then, so currently, I try to use that、uh, loom. So, I mean, now it's a, I, I ask you to、uh, individually. So, but, uh, but this system can be used at the、uh, collaboration. So, now it's a, you can find that the several r o o m we have prepared. So, please, so I mean, if you、uh, join this, Uh, room so you can collaborate with others. So, for example, I select room one. So, in that case,、uh, so okay, maybe. Uh, so, uh, so let me、uh, room one. <laughs> one. I, I don't know that. So, okay, so now, now is、uh, now is not working, but、uh, so I uh, join, uh, log in that uh, uh, others. From other accounts. So, I mean, use this system. In that case, others to do something. In that case, move this. For example, it's not、uh, connect. Other person is connect this, it's a connect. So, I mean,、uh, in this area, so share the share your,、uh, activity and then also give some information. So, for example, so I have a question about this. So, I mean, Uh, what, what is、uh, ancient capital? In that case, give a message. It is not written in the text. So, in that case, so that mean, we can discuss about that. No. So, so that mean, I connect it, but、uh, about this, it's not、uh, explained that. So, in that case,、uh, we can give a comment. So, and then maybe if you log in this user room one, you can find that.、Uh, This one, and then you can do that. So, of course, <laughs> okay. So, I mean, that this is not so much、uh, participant here. So, please join this、uh, room one, and then so that、uh, confirm that by using this, by using、uh, your operation, can you share with others? And then, so 
if you give a question about each proposition, then now it's just, uh, depend on the proposition. So you can give a comment or receive the comment from that. So that, that is a one collaborative way to use a to build the concept map. And then, so this is a basically Lumi uh, the channel, the channel is here. So I mean, there's some uh, information, a comment about that. And then message is uh, give uh, for the all, for about the all, uh, over all the concept map. So give a comment for that. That is a one way to give a comment for Lumi's person. So of course, currently, uh, so in the experimental use about this, only to use the peers. So how many, how many person to use that in one time is not so clear now, but uh, we have confirmed that is uh, uh, useful for this. Okay, so depends on the time limitation. You can please use this. <laughs> but uh, I, I had some, uh, research achievement because of time limitation, I omit several one. And then, so I mean, uh, okay. So I'll explain that the uh, uh, result of collaborative work. This is uh, conducted by Ario Kun. So later, so he will uh, introduce a new version of the system. So I will show this slide. But, uh, so I mean, I, that's a system. So you use that collaborative kit building and then compared to the usual scratch building concept map. So uh, in the collaborative field, collaborative way to so compose a concept map is not, uh, some, some research is already developed like that system. And then they say that is a useful. And then now compare with the collaborative Kit building. And then as that collaborative kit building as that. So provide, provide the component and then request to make a uh, decompose that. So in the system, in the in the experiment, so comparing that the control groups, I mean collaborative scratch scratch mapping, so I mean build all node and all link by the students themselves. And then one more is kit building. So expand group. And then about that, this is a uh, quantity of the conversation. So uh, by the uh, uh, quantity of conversation is a uh, experimental group is much more. So that mean, uh, so there is already uh, provide the component. So they are actively discuss about the map. And then about the quality of them. So the, uh, about the, for the Kitwell concept map case is more focus on problem. So maybe as you know, so in the kit reading and then request to the talk about the uh, concept map. In that case, many questions, many questions, many conversations focus on the proportion itself. So that is a problem focused question. And then in the usual concept mapping case, so that mean more procedural. So how to do that or next to that? So I mean, how to manage that the collaboration is a lot more, much more con, uh, conversation is focused on the management of collaboration. So this means uh, we con con conclude that is a uh, kit building is good for focus on the problem or uh, focus on problem, focus on the problem solving or about the talk, uh, think about the topic. And then in the case, usual collaborative uh, in we are using usual concept mapping. So many map conversation for management is that. So that is a very important uh, characteristics is kit will concept map. Kit will concept map provide a component and then student already share the words, uh, node and rings, I mean, uh, concept and relations, and then, they focus on how to use that, how, what is the meaning of that? And then that is very more focused on the problem or uh, to know that. But uh, in usual collaboration, so to, to, before that, how to collaborate is very important issue. So, and then sometimes it's very difficult to share the nodes and link with them. So that is a, a one very good advantage of Kitulio concept map, we think. And then uh, even though, and then this is a learning test result. And then even in the host and the uh, content that they include in the kit is of course better, but uh, even outside of the kit. So the, in the 
uh, in this experiment, we all we uh, intentionally prepare that uh, some question is in the in the map in the kit, but uh, some question is not included in the kit. So even such type of outside of the kit, so they can keep their almost same score with the uh, scratch building. So in that case, even so to think about the kit uh, part of the kit, in that case, they can also considering that outside the kit. So kit read concept map is very good for the collaboration and then good for the content to understand it, I think. Okay, so that is a, a result of this. And then so, okay, one more <laughs> topic, Nami. Uh, I ask you that, so Nami, now is a kit read concept map. Maybe I hope you also think, Nami, kit read concept map, recomposition concept map is very uh, good potential even now. So I'm continuously studying about that. And then, uh, Ario Pinas, Dr. Ano Pirantio uh, is uh, graduated my research group. So, the, as a, and then get got a PhD, but continuously working with that and then developing that uh, uh, and then improving the kit consumer. Now is a new version he is developing. So, I have taken five minutes for ask him to introduce a new version of the kit consumer. So, Ario, can you introduce that? Uh, current to development. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope you can hear my voice. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for the opportunity for me to introduce maybe as Professor Sukasai Rasima uh, mentioned before the new system of kit build concept map, but it's actually not that new. So, okay, I will try to explain it a little bit. Okay, let me share my screen for a little bit then. Okay, yeah. So this is the this is the prototype of the new kit build concept map systems. So basically, uh, this is not new. This is uh, just an improvement from the previous version of the kit build concept map system, because we believe that learning by recomposition activities will contribute to better learning and understanding, as previously mentioned by Professor Sukasa Hiroshima. And we also know that concept map has been widely accepted as one of good approach to learning. And based on that, we try to implement the learning framework into a computer-based learning system using concept map that can be used to learn interactively online. And because we use the system online and also interactively, we can cope the challenge in online and collaborative learning environment. Okay, so basically the system is not that different with the previous kit build system. And the initial uh, kit build system can only provide essential mechanism of learning with kit build concept map framework, which provide uh, recomposition activities and feedback, and also some of uh, minimum uh, collaboration. But the initial design has uh, many limitations in changing, in changing the design of learning activities and also modification to the system is very limited. So if the teachers have a different idea on how the concept map being used in learning activities, uh, they might have difficulties to use the system, the previous system to implement their ideas and conduct the activities as the design. But in this new kit built concept map system, change to the modification to the system itself is more uh, dynamic and more easy than the previous one. Uh, the other reason is uh, because why uh, the teachers might 
change the design because our research also investigates that kit built concept map while being used in different style of concept map and different style of activities might affect students learning performance so if we combine with scratch mapping and kit building and also uh, including discussion on it, it also might affect the student's learning performance. So our basic idea in how to uh, change the system to make it more dynamic and could cope with what teachers want, uh, the activities to be performed by the students. Okay, so in that case, we try to develop a, a new dynamic and modular kit built concept map system where various kind of concept mapping activities can be supported by the system. So in this page, maybe I can copy the link if you cannot see it from the from the screen. Okay, I send the link <clears throat> at the chat message. You can open it, and as you can see. We can try the demo, watch the intro, and uh, we have four types of basic concept map activities instead of standard kit building activities, which is including basic scratch mapping, which is concept map here, kit build concept map, standard and mix between concept mapping scratch by scratching and uh, using kit build. And we also have an extended style of kit build concept map where students can do the kit building activity and extend the concept map with another kit and until the concept map is complete so there's a different the four different style of concept mapping that can be supported now with the kit build concept map and if we try the demo here basically the same with the previous uh, applications so let's say I put my name here it is the just temporary if you put your name it will be registered but it will be deleted after several days. So it's okay if you want to try it. So uh, let's say here, it's almost the same with the previous kit build concept system. So we can just open kit and then we open some of the kit here and see we can get the concept map, but the difference between the previous kit build concept map, we now have a better visual representation of the kit build concept map with the system. Because instead of a uh, one by one connectivity between a one, uh, one node and one link uh, node, one concept node and one link node, now we, in this kind of uh, concept map, we can support such kind of this connection. So instead of just creating one direct proposition like Venus is called Hellas Planet, and then we can make another proposition using the same concept link, uh, uh, connecting link like this to another, to another uh, concept. For example, Venus is also called the brightest planet here and then connect. So we can minimize the use of multiple uh, link node to the same uh, source concepts. And then, in addition to that, uh, the collaboration system is not only applied to a single application. We can also uh, integrate because the system is already uh, developed, designed modular based. So we can just connect to the collaboration server and we can just uh, start communicating with others. And yeah, we can create another room and then we can collaborate by other people who, who join with the same room. So we can easily create another design of a learning activity with Kid Blue Concept Map. And then we can start collaborating right away and start learning just like that. Okay, so that's basically how the system is different between the previous Kid Build system and the new Kid Build system. Okay, so uh in the layout of the system itself, there's a lot of uh, customizable buttons that we can, uh, other developer can use and change and modify as needed. And then we can uh, create another 
a new experience with Get Built Concept Map. Okay, so that's uh, how in the how the application is used. In addition to that, if we open a new window, for example, here, we can go to the administration page where the contents of the system is managed. So for example, here I log in as a feature. Okay. So the new kit build system has a modular content management system, which can be used to manage how the system is running and how the system is being used by the students, how the students being grouped into the contents and contents with concept map, concept map with kit, and we can arrange that. And also uh, other developer can also add uh, many many custom function that can that they want to use or develop and implement into their system and they can easily use the data and share with others so for example here we can compose concept map and then let's say i want to open a concept map here like venus <clears throat> so this is the concept map the goal map that previously I have created. So we can just easily create concept map and switch to compose kit to make it <clears throat> to compose a concept map kit easier. We can open the previous kit. Let's say like this. So this is the kit I have previously created. Then we can modify it and change how the kit should be located or should be changed. And yeah, something like that. <clears throat> and we can also simulate how the kit build concept map is recomposed. So for example, if I want to recompose the, sorry, I want to recompose the kit. So yeah, this is the kit. So I can simulate how the students is using the system like this. You can see the contents. We can see, get the feedback and control how the feedback is uh, given to the students. And we have a content management system and also analyzer. We can get uh, one different functionality that can use to analyze a, a student's concept map in just one place. So we can see and get the result of the analysis just right away here. Okay, so in addition to that, we can also manage users here. <clears throat> so in here, so yeah, as I can see, when you join to the to the system using the system using the uh, demo application, you will be generated a username that will be <clears throat> uh, deleted by by default after several days that we can see that uh, the username is generated dynamically and yeah, we can see how the, the user is assigned to something, some group and then how the group can be, <clears throat> how the group can have access to the content and concept map and also kit. So we can manage how the system can be used in class in such a group or another purpose. Yeah, something like that. And this is for the how the application can be <clears throat> can be managed to limit the uh, how can I say this is just a uh, how the application is being controlled by the administrator. So not all people can have access to all the functionality, but limit to how uh, the user is assigned to a role. So yeah, this is how the new system of the Kitbill concept map is designed and developed. In this way, uh, if any other developer want to use the system and expand the system into another style of concept mapping activity, they can have a faster deployment and also better content management. And also they can quickly develop and modify the learning activity the system and use it right away. And <clears throat> the system is uh, designed by using plug plugin and component-based software engineering. So allow third-party collaborator to contribute and use the various custom function to be implemented in the system. 
<clears throat> and lastly, probably uh, for researchers, we try to open some wider opportunities for future research and investigation to the learning design framework activities, concept map, and the system itself. Additionally, we also try to open the opportunity for collaboration with other research area. Well, I think that's all for me. It's more than five minutes, I think. Okay, thank you very much for coming. So <laughs> yeah, uh, now today I introduce basically uh, the theoretically or why kit reading is good for. Yeah. And then now, so uh, as Arkun explained that, so we have already developed a very useful system, very practical one, and then now developing. So you will have some interest about that. <laughs> so let me please contact to the collaboration. So let I me, mean, I believe, so I mean, we have already used that system in the practical lecture. So even from the university to the elementary school. So I believe that is very good potential to use in the real, real world classroom. So I hope you to uh, know our, the Kitwell concept map and then please consider to find some good topic for the additional or in the potential one. So then we have a good collaboration we can get. So that's very happy for us. Thank you very much today, the opportunity to help introduce our Kitwell concept map system. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Tsukasa and Professor Ario, uh, for your very interesting presentation and demonstration. Okay, uh, it look, looks like we won't have <laughs> enough time for question and uh, <laughs> <laughs> but since we are here, I'd like to uh, take a few minutes for discussion. Okay, uh, I guess the audience will be able to ask questions through the chat box. Uh, okay, uh, now my uh, first is my question. In this framework, the map builder such as teacher construct a goal map, and then the map is divided into some components, and the components are provide, provided to the learner to reconstruct. Mm -hmm. I think this is an effective way to get the runner to think about the teacher's understanding. Mm -hmm. I have a question. First, mm -hmm. how do you ensure the validity of breaking down of uh, breaking down the goal map constructed by educator and providing the component. Also, what's uh, what are the good point and the bad point of this method, if any? Furthermore, mm -hmm. if it seems to me that one of the, the advantage of allowing learners to mm -hmm. freely create their own concept map is mm -hmm. that we can acquire what runner are thinking and understanding. So I have a question whether runner can have their own idea and understand if they are asked to reconstruct mm -hmm. the map based on the map builders uh, or teachers understanding mm -hmm. or whether it will be in position of the mm -hmm. teachers understanding. What do you think about these points? Yeah, so that's very important point, I think. So firstly, so I mean, student has their own understanding. So I agree that. And then maybe that's difference from teachers. I also that agree that. But uh, basically, student should understand what teachers said. Mm -hmm. So without that, so classroom continuous learning is sometimes difficult because mm -hmm. teacher have teaching something. And then so to student say, say understand. In that case, teachers, yeah. Based on that, their uh, understanding or teacher's understanding, mm -hmm. uh, additionally teach uh, based on that, their answer. So to confirm that this class understand like this, it's confirmed mm -hmm. that is very important. So that means the understanding is different from teacher and student. In that case, mm -hmm. next class become very difficult. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, yeah. so we have confirmed that, that's the mm -hmm. kind of experiment. Okay, I have <laughs> enough time to explain that, but uh, <laughs> so course, by using Kitwe concept map, so next class to add, add more, extend that concept map is very good for the learner. But uh, mm -hmm. student make their own map. In that case, of course it's uh, useful, but uh, it's mm -hmm. lower than, lower score than the Kitwe concept map because mm -hmm. Kitwe concept map provides a good, good means, uh -huh. Good for teacher's context. Yeah. Good for teacher concept is good for to the next class. So mm -hmm. that means uh, uh, so firstly, students understand the teacher's understanding. 
Mm-hmm. And then after that, I, I believe by my viewpoint, background, after that student has teacher say so, but the eyes yeah. have mm-hmm. another idea. So that is a very uh, ideal, good, mm-hmm. good understanding. So good main meaning of I have another uh, opinion. But uh, if student don't understand teacher what say, but uh, I have another idea. In that case, mm-hmm. that is good or not is yeah. very controversial point. But uh, mm-hmm. I, my, my uh, my, my approach, our approach is students firstly under, try to understand teacher had say. After that, mm-hmm. students say, I cannot understand or I have a different idea. Not oh. uh, answering, not to direct, firstly say, I yeah. have another idea. <laughs> but oh, another yeah. means, I, you say so, you say like this, but I have a, this. So in that case, it's a good. But uh, uh-huh. without understanding of teachers, I have this idea is, not so good collaboration, good come discussion, I think. So that, that's our point. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I understand it. And uh, from the audience, uh, uh, Mr. Kento Koike, uh, the, uh, the learning by recompon- recomposition shame that it has preconditioned that knowledge is related such as a pre- uh, in this point, uh, you believe that the knowledge has not absolute structure, or are you adapt the point of view for realize the learning by recomposition? My opinion is similar to the former one. In either case, I believe the effectiveness of your proposed approach. So let me know that knowledge has not. So let me, uh, okay. So if the teacher can be pre- ah, okay. So that's very difficult. <laughs> that is also important, but difficult. So, so very in the, is a essential point is maybe our conversation is uh, correct or not. <laughs> I mean, maybe we are using that language words but uh, so the meaning of word is same with same uh, maybe individually diff- maybe if we think different in that case we cannot communicate but uh, we agree some ex- some some, uh, some 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 meaning we share in so in the meaning of share with us about the world or relation in that case we can communicate with you so I mean essentially we cannot completely communicate with others. So maybe it's the same with that. If you even, so I mean, it's a, this method can be useful, can you can be working well if the, the, the share with the concept map about the understanding. But uh, if, of course, there is more deep understanding. In that case, we cannot, as a teacher cannot take, uh, represent that with the concept map. In that case, we, this map we cannot use, but uh, uh, the level of the represented by concept map, it's a, it should share. <laughs> so, so that means, uh, so the, it's a, if necessary to deep understand, in that case, uh, so some, some level can share with me, so the based on that, uh, ah, okay, that means this concept map to the share that was on relation that used in the discussion. So that is a, this uh, approach is can, to, can support that. But uh, after the more deep or more, more complex structure to share is not, uh, uh, it depends on the situation, but uh, it's not so, we cannot say so. But uh, before to the discussion, to share the basic understanding is a, so if you try to, share the basic understanding about the material or content. In that case, this concept map is useful. Kit building is useful, I think. That is the answer of this. <laughs> How do you? Okay, okay. So, so do you have, Kentaro, so can you give, explain that, that this, this answer response is okay for your, if you have an additional question, please say okay. on. Maybe they can have a okay. question directly. Okay. No. No. 
Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, uh, I have a last one question. Um, I, sh I think uh, you have done a lot of practice. So please tell us about what you find to be different from your expectation or more than your expectation and any new ideas you acquire through your practice. Uh, so, uh, I mean, so first, first three, I mean, uh, three. so, so kit concept map is very shallow understanding. I, and also agree. And then because my, my background is knowledge engineering, mm -hmm. and then to write a knowledge is very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. And the share is also very difficult. But uh, so, so from that viewpoint, cost map is very shallow. Mm -hmm. Semantics is very shallow. And there's may, may, many sh semantics in the uh, builder's mind. So I think that is a uh, key concept map is one uh, easy use tool, firstly, I think. But uh, in mm -hmm. through the practice, so they understand so deeply by using the kit. Mm -hmm. So that I mean, not, not so that I mean, kit is still shallow, but uh, mm -hmm. how to use that is student is this between student discussion and teacher also think more. So that I mean, through the kit, it's a shallow meaning of kit. So they improve their understanding very deeply. So. Uh, the concept map cannot catch that uh, deep understanding, but uh, through the, uh, the representation, they can improve their understanding well. So that is my, uh, for me, that's very interesting mm -hmm. and then surprise that. So, but uh, that is, I think that is not so special case because I mean, usual words is very shallow, <laughs> but uh, by using how to use a word is very special meaning. And so I mean, in the community, so uh, depend on the community, word meaning is different. And then to right. join the special community means how to mm -hmm. use a word mm -hmm. is a very important. So that is yeah. a very important communication. For example, I mean, uh, so it, I think that is the same situation in the classroom. In the classroom, mm -hmm. teacher teach, and then teacher mm -hmm. teach in how teach is depend on the teachers or classroom. but. Uh, how to share the word meaning is that is not so easy for all students, but by using kit build, so they can share the meaning of that and then find the difference of the meaning, how to use that word. So concept itself is shallow, but how to use that is more deep meaning of that. And then through the use of the concept map, they can share the how to use. <laughs> so how to use, so they share the, in the same way to use that is very important for the uh, discussion or collaboration. So that is a very important finding for me by using this. So not so much theoretically explain that, but uh, that is a very important reason I should, mm -hmm. I, I believe, and we believe should use the kit building more. So not only the, uh, easy to, but, uh, to on detect that the learners are different, but also how to improve their understanding, how to share their understanding. So maybe that's my response for your question. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, time is up. Uh, I'd like to finish now. Okay, uh, today's Professor Tsukasa Hiroshima introduced the Kit Build Quantum Map as a framework to share understanding among learners to, uh, or between teacher and learners. The essence of learning and education is to share and transfer knowledge and understanding, but how to achieve this is very difficult topic. In the read and understand, understanding approach using concept map, there is no goal as to what constitutes understanding. It is unclear from the perspective of the task what needs to be done and no feedback is given. The Kit Build Concept Map is a very valuable research for framework that aims to realize, realize sharing understanding. As well, the system demonstrated today is very easy to use and offer many possibilities. I hope that this webinar will help you in your research and thinking. 
Okay, uh, now I would like to make a few announcements before we end. First, we, I would like to announce the next webinar. Next speaker is Professor uh, Agnes kugluska hume She is from Open University in United Kingdom. The title of the presentation is Shaping Mobile Learning Futures uh, for the Common Good. Uh, the presentation is organized by APSC Classroom, Ubiquitas, and Mobile Technology Enhanced Learning, SIG. Uh, we look forward to your participation. And we welcome to your and we welcome to your feedback on the presentation and the webinar series. Please scan this QR code and feedback to us. Your feedback is very important to us. We will be able to do better research on teaching and running support with this feedback. We need your feedback to help us grow our community. Now, have you scanned the QR code, everyone? Okay. Okay. Uh, it is time to say goodbye. Thank you very much, Professor Tsukasa and Dr. Ario. Uh, thank you very much for attending. That, uh, thank you very much for the APSC and for organizing this webinar and the special task force of this webinar. Thank you very much. I'm happy to have this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank, uh, you. thank you very much, Professor Tsukasa Hiroshima again. Uh, and thank you, uh, thank you everyone who participated today and everyone who watched this video. Thank you very much for your time today. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.